Hi everybody, I'm Leah CJ Drill and let me tell you, if you have ever wanted to cut molding, baseboard, chair rail, for an outside corner that wasn't quite 90 degrees and you didn't know how to make that miter cut, guess what? I'm going to show you how to do it today. Let's get started. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. This is an outside corner, and I've made this for demonstration purposes, and here's the thing. You're working in your house, you get to the outside corner, you think it's 90 degrees because, you know, right angle, right? So you take your molding and you cut it at 45, right? And then you go to install it. And guess what? <laughs> That's what you wind up with. What you really want is something like that. So how do you do it, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to get that perfect cut on a corner that's not perfect. So here's the tool that you're going to need. Well, it doesn't cost much, five, six, seven dollars in any home improvement store. And what is it? It's a protractor. Now what you do is, I'm going to take this, okay, nut here. I'm going to loosen it so it flexes back and forth, right? So we've got free movement. I'm going to set it right up on that angle, right? But to make certain that it seats perfectly against both walls, this wall here and this wall here. It's got to be seated perfectly. Then I'm going to tighten the nut. So here's the thing. If the angle is 90 or below, you just divide by 2. So if it's 88, then you divide 88 by 2, and that's 44. And so you set your miter at 44 and you make that cut, right? Because if it was 90, you would set your miter saw at 45. Two 45s make a 90. So anything below 90, just divide by 2. But what happens when your angle is larger than 90? Well, you know what they call that? They call that obtuse, okay? An obtuse angle. Anyway, there's a formula for it. Okay, so there we go. Our angle is 100. That's our measurement. Our outside corner is 100. Remember, obtuse, larger than 90, so 100. Now, there's a number above that. That's 80. And I'm going to explain that in the formula. But for now, remember that our outside corner measures 100 degrees. Okay, so here's the formula. Our outside corner is 100 degrees degrees, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that 100 by 2 and it's going to equal 50. Well, here's the problem. It's obtuse, right? That 100 is obtuse. And so even though we've divided it by 2, it's 50, we can't set the miter saw to 50 because you can really only set a miter saw to 45. So what do we do? Well, here's the second part of the formula. You take 90 and you subtract 50. Subtract that 50 there, and it will equal 40. And that's what you set your miter saw to, 40, to make the cut. Now let's just say that your angle was 130. This formula works with any angle over 90, right? So let's say it's 130. Well, you divide that by 2, and that would equal 65. And you take 90, and you subtract 65, and that would equal 25. And that's what you would set your miter saw to. All right, so here's the thing. This is another tip. If you have a protractor, sometimes, okay, I'm going to have to use a math term, the supplementary angle is also there. And if you notice when I showed you our measurement, I said it was 100, but right below it was 80. Well, that's called the supplementary angle. And guess what? If you divide that by 2, what do you get? You get 40. Okay, so I've shown you how to use the formula in the event that on the protractor that you use or whatever measuring device you use, it doesn't have the supplementary angle. Okay, so I'm going to take you over to the miter saw and we're going to make that cut. Come on. Okay, so I've got my miter saw set at 40. Now I'm going to make the cut. Now you want to make certain that your uh, baseboard is resting flush against the uh, 
fence. That's what that is there. Okay. Now I need to move my blade to the 40 degrees on the other side. There we go. We got it right there. I'll tighten it up. Because now I'm going to make the other cut for the other piece of uh, baseboard. So there's our baseboard. Now I don't have any way to, to attach the baseboard. But there you go. You can see how tight the angle is. Beautiful. It's perfect. You know, you can do chair railing or other moldings. Now I've got a piece of chair railing here. And, and I've cut this to uh, uh, fit this angle as well. And I want you to look at how perfect that cut is. Beautiful. Just using the formula. So here's the thing. You know the formula now. Now whenever you do an outside corner and it's not quite 90 degrees, you'll know exactly what to do. And you won't be limited to just baseboard. You can do chair railing. You can do all kinds of molding with that formula. Zalia saying, you can do this. And subscribe, okay? See you next time.